Oh gods, I know I'm a little bit late to the party, but at least we're at the end of the month, so here are five facts on the god Janus. Janus was the ancient Roman god of doors, gates, entrances, exits, all that fancy stuff. He's basically the god of all transitional things, and he is also a pretty Roman exclusive god. As you can probably tell by his appearance, he represents all things that have to do with duality, with balance. He's kind of the yin and yang of the ancient Roman world. I mean, life and death, beginnings, endings, like I mentioned before, entrances and exits, but he also represents big transitional moments between two different stages of life, adulthood, childhood, civilized, uncivilized civilizations, and of course, war and peace. Now, let's talk about his appearance, or rather his representation. He is usually depicted as having two faces looking at opposite sides. This could represent past and future, youth and adulthood, like I said, all these things. And you can probably tell that both faces could either be exactly the same, or one can be a lot older than the other one, past and future. I'm not entirely sure if they have four ears or they just share the two on both sides of the head. I'm not sure. Apart from the obvious symbols like doors, gates, like I mentioned earlier, some of his attributes, as you can tell in this picture, include keys, which open said doors and gates, and as you probably guessed, coins, because coins have two faces. Ah. Roman legend has it that amongst all mortal men and all gods and goddesses, Janus was the first one to ever mint coins. Yeah, Janus is pretty cool. That's why it's important to celebrate or honor Janus in every big transitional period, not only from the old year to the new year, not only from one week to the next one, month to month, but also in big transitional moments of one's lives. Birthdays, marriages, a new job, all that fancy stuff. Even roosters are like a sacred animal to Janus, depending on where you look at, because roosters obviously herald a new day. Leave in the comments which god or goddess you'd like me to cover next. Peace.